how many track by tracks matter? How many get to the center of the Tootsie music? You bite and you taste and it's still the same music and none of you are ever going to change your mind so why do I do the track by tracks I guess because if I have nothing more to do than to do them and you have nothing more to do than to hear them why not so I decided to do another one and this time I'm thinking I'm going to do one that um hmm I'm trying to figure out what 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 to do I I have an idea but I can't remember all of the titles of the songs on it so if I can't remember all the titles of the songs, I'm not going to look up the titles. I'm going to try and find one where I know all the titles. Oh. Um. Mm. Well, there's one that I know most of the titles. I, I, I know the titles pretty much. But I don't know what album to do with it. Well, yeah. Let's do Journey's first album with Led Zeppelin's Presence. All right. Um, okay. Let's start this time with Journey. And to go with Led Zeppelin second. Okay. Led Zeppelin, no. Journey's first song is off of the first album. It's called In a Lifetime. It's an interesting song. It's sort of and sort of not a good opening track. But it jams and it's good. But that's going against a very good Led Zeppelin song, Achilles' Last Stand. And I have to give that one to Zeppelin, I'm sorry. The next song is Journeys in the Morning Day versus Led Zeppelin's For Your Life. And... I have to give this one to Journey because there's something about the song that has an interesting edge to it that even though I really, really like the Led Zeppelin song, the Journey one wins just a little bit. because of what it had in it. And then the third song by Journey is called Kahootek. And that goes against Royal Orleans by Led Zeppelin. This is going to be extremely difficult because I like both songs really well but I do have to give it to Zeppelin because I just have to and then the next song from Journey is to play some music and that is going against Led Zeppelin's Nobody's Fault But Mine. Oh, boy.
boy. I wish I could give this one to Journey, but I can't. I have to give it to Zeppelin. I'm sorry. And then Topaz from Journey versus Led Zeppelin's Candy Store Rock. This is this is difficult because Topaz is one of my favorite songs off of the Journey album, but Candy Store Rock is one of my favorites off of the Led Zeppelin album, and that wins. So, oh boy. This is getting to be quite a bit of a hard thing. Now, part of the Journey song, it's in two parts. It's, um, I, I forget what part of the song is called, but the other part I think is called Conversations. So let's just call it Conversations, because I know the song I just, the other part might be called In My Own Place, or, or some, something like that. I, I, I forget, it's, it's, it's a two-part song. It could be called Azimuth, and it's combined with some else I forget, but... But 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 it's I, I think it's part of it is called conversations. Whatever the the song title is called, you'll see it in the description afterwards. And that's going it gets hot on for nowhere by Led Zeppelin. Oh I have to give this one to Zeppelin again. Oh boy, I'm 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 feeling guilty. Cause I do like that journey song, but hey, but the last song off of Journey is Nickel Mountain. And that's going against T for One. And this time, the Journey song wins. It's much better than T for One. Nickel Mountain wins it. So, Journey gets two points. And Led Zeppelin gets five. That doesn't mean you shouldn't listen to the Journey album. It just means that I like most of the songs from the Led Zeppelin album a little more. Anyway, that's been my track-by-track -track review. Take care, everybody. Bye.